Brahma Island, have you ever heard of it? It's an exclusive private preserve owned by a six generation local cattle farmer and leased by billionaire exotic game hunters. And neighbors tell us that wild animals have been escaping from this private island, threatening their property and safety. I-Team investigator Adam Walser has uncovered the preserve has a history of wildlife law violations, but neighbors tell us the state has been looking the other way. I've seen fallow deer, sika deer, access deer. Michelle Smith says the wildlife roaming in the fields and forest around her rural Polk County home aren't native to Florida. In fact, they're normally found in Europe, Asia, or Africa. But Smith has a good idea where they're coming from. These animals are just simply walking and swimming across from Brahma Island. Brahma Island is a private hunting preserve thousands of acres in size located 350 yards through marsh and moat from Smith's property. Florida Fish and Game have not required the owners of Brahma Island to actually have the state required game fences that Florida law requires everyone to have. The exemption was granted by a barely legible handwritten note from 1987. A bureaucrat approved the lake as a barrier in place of the high fence required for hunting preserves. I've been out here since 1997. Neighbor Dee Swanson blames the owner and license holder of the preserve, Carrie Lightsey, for what she says are ongoing problems. I'm always on the receiving end of what he does, like when his buffalo end up in my yard and I have a herd of buffalo and nobody comes and gets them. These are photos she took of the bison wading through water, grazing on grass and coming within feet of her swing, dock and porch. She says she contacted Lightsey multiple times and eventually his brother Lane, the island's co-owner, came out to remove them. The I-Team obtained this Florida Wildlife Commission inspection report from April. It says, quote, Mr. Lightsey advised those animals had been out there for many years. He went on to say they all stemmed from an escape that happened at the Masterpiece Gardens Amusement Park decades ago. This park closed its doors in the 1970s. And as this map shows, it's more than 20 miles from Swanson's home. This is body camera footage from the latest inspection. The men was all six foot eight and the women was six four. That's Kerry Lysey describing Native Americans he says occupied Brahma Island 11,000 years ago. Lysey takes the officers to the island by boat. This is the oldest tree in Florida or oldest tree? Actually, Southeast United States. During the inspection, the officer stopped for pictures in front of what Lightsey says is a 400-year-old tree. Thanks. There's another photo in front of the Brahma Island sign. And the officer wearing the camera snaps a picture of a historical marker commemorating a visit by President Zachary Taylor. Some pretty cool history. Brahma Island is leased by three billionaires Lightsey says want to remain anonymous. They have fancy toys. Everything inside is like a Cadillac. Including this $200,000 custom truck. I could use one of those issued to me next time you, uh, you're looking at the budget. Okay, put it on the list. All right, thanks. And they hold private hunts from an inventory of thousands of wild game, including axis deer, sika deer, fallow deer, bison, water buffalo, antelope, red deer, white-tailed deer, and hogs. The I-Team obtained all inspection reports for Brahma Island for the past 10 years, and we found Lightsey had violations during each inspection. This guy was a repeat offender on several of the things that they warned him about, signage, not having proper records. But the biggest problem surfaced in 2018 when inspectors found a dozen zebras without a license or proper containment. According to this report, Lightsey told them he plans to euthanize the zebras as opposed to providing caging. The next inspection was three years later. And they do another inspection, and what do they find? 12 zebras, alive and well. And there's five here, five there. There's one out there. That's six up here. So that's 11. Lightsey received a mere warning from the state each time. There was another case in Florida where a man had one zebra and it wasn't permitted. FWC told him to get a permit. He tried to get the permit. FWC turned him down. That zebra escaped from a farm in Nassau County in 2019. Its owner was forced to shoot it to protect the public. 
He was issued a misdemeanor citation punishable by up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. Why aren't they being charged with all 12 zebras? The rules don't seem to apply the same here. One person gets one set of rules and another person gets another. And that's not the way our state government is supposed to work. We met with Lightsey at his ranch. He declined an on-camera interview but said the zebras belong to one of the men who leases the property. And he's trying to get him to apply for a license and construct a proper containment area. He says he and his attorney are working to bring the preserve into compliance. Lightsey also told us his neighbor's constant complaints may force him to have to euthanize the zebras, which he says he doesn't want to do. Hey, I'm going to leave you with, uh, this is just uh, our rules, just so you have the most current copy. At the end of the inspection, um, despite right, four repeated rule update. violations, a not-so-stern uh, warning. I think the concern, obviously, was you don't want the stuff to get on the main lane and uh, establish populations there. So, But it's a, it's a beautiful property, yeah. and I appreciate you. Okay, taking well, the time. You. Pleasure meeting you. There's no consequences for this guy. Thanks, sir. Good to see you again. You, take you too, as always. Can I say goodbye? I'm I-Team investigator Adam Walser, taking action for you. And we did reach out to the Florida Wildlife Commission last week for any updates regarding the latest inspection, but we have not heard back yet.